In my town, there is a school. If I didn't go, I'd be a fool. There's boys and girls in my class. A teacher, too. It's a blast. We start at eight every day. Learn to read, run and play. It's lots of fun in my school. My friends are there. Oh, it's so cool. But there's some kids. Snotty-nosed, grimy hair and dirty toes. Lazy, rough. They sit and stare. I wonder if they really care. Matty is one. Sits at the back. Bites his nails till they crack. The teacher shouts. Matty, the teacher cries. Stop. While Matty stares with empty eyes. His mouth wide open. Tongue hangs out. The teacher screams. You're, You're such a lout. <laughs> I just laugh. He's not my friend. But that might change before the end. A day had come. Like all before. We were in class. When at the door. There was a knock. We said, come in. The handle turned. It was Mr. Finn. The principal was Mr. Finn. And on his face, a big fat grin. Morning all. His teeth shone brown. He should have been a circus clown. Matty, he said. What do you say? I found out something fun today. Matty was quiet. And so are we. While Mr. Finn smiled cheekily. In my book of dates, he said. A birthday, boy, is what I read. It's yours today. Am I right? Why didn't you say? I thought you might. Birthday? Asked Matty, eyes grown wide. Poor boy, there's nowhere to hide. It was still. Matty sat and thought. And then a whisper. I forgot. The classroom shook, roared and laughed. How could he be so dumb and daft? Mr. Finn crowed. You mean to say that you forgot your birthday? With that he left and shook his head at the silly thing Matty had said. Fun is over, our teacher huffed. Get out your books. That's enough. The boys and girls in the class could not believe what had passed. But we knew well he didn't forget. Matty lied. On that we'd bet. It's custom when birthdays come the child buys sweets for everyone. The teacher gets the biggest prize. A chocolate slab of magnificent size. But Matty didn't, the silly fool, buy sweets or chocks for us at school. That's why he said, I forgot. His face turned red. That said a lot. At lunch we saw him hide away. We laughed and teased. What a day. He's so poor, someone said. He eats dried fish on dry bread. He's so rough, another sighed. He punched me once till I cried. He's so dumb, the children whined. What's one plus one? He'll say it's nine. The clock struck two, the school bell rang. We're going home, the children sang. I grabbed my books and my pens and said goodbye to my friends. I walked the road without a care, when suddenly I saw him there, Matty, hiding in the street, munching on a delicious treat. I stopped and asked, what do you eat? Is that a chalk or caramel sweet? It's both, he said. I've got a few. Why do you ask? What's it to you? But, I said, we thought you didn't have chocks or sweets or cream or mint instead you said you had forgot it was your birthday so nothing was bought did you ever stop to think matty's eyes did not blink why should i buy sweets for school just to please a bunch of fools you lied i said in class today you never forgot your birthday you played it dumb and didn't want to share the snacks you hid underneath your chair. Now you're thinking, using your head. That's what Matty, the birthday boy, said. Here, 
Have a seat. Now, don't grab. I'll give you a chocolate slab. So I sat down on the street and munched on that chocolate treat. That was smart, I did admit. He hid the sweets. What good wit. Yes, he said. That's the lesson. Next time, don't judge. It's a blessing. You might make a friend, if you're lucky. But instead, you were cocky. I know you and your friends at school. Standing tall, think you're cool. Making fun of people like me. Just the outside is all you see. Are you enjoying that chocolate bar? Haha, <laughs> indeed, I see you are. But that's your last one. Now shift gear. The rest are mine. Get out of here.